Hello Taurus and welcome to your reading for January 2021. So we're in a brand new year, a brand new month and a new beginning. So this is going to be the general energy for your sign and it's going to bring in messages for singles and twin flames. So thank you for being here and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So we're going to use some powerful cards, the healing oracle cards. We're going to use this beautiful Gildy Tarot Royale and and the white cat tarot and we're going to bring in the divine feminine and the divine masculine messages of love so let's see what's coming in for you taurus so what's going on with taurus please angels in january what's going on with taurus please in january wow so look at this time to rest and a time to relax so a lot of relaxation coming in for you in january now you may have been rushing around in december you may have been trying to get things done, make things work, make everyone else happy, and this is your time. So the angels are saying to you, this is your time, and I feel that's the message for January for you. This is your time, your time to rest, to relax, to rejuvenate, to get your energy back, a time to work on you, to find your true pathway because you are a leader. So it's time to reflect and rest and relax so you can lead your path, lead your journey, you know, lead your way forward towards your mission and everything you want to flow in. So feel relaxed and find peace because peace is here. So the angels are clearly saying to you in January, then it's very important to take rest because when you take rest and you, time, you find time to rest, which means breathe, meditate, don't rush things, take your time, then you feel relaxed. So it's really important you come into the now. That's where the relaxing energy is. You know, when we're worrying about the past or we're stressing over the future, we're not relaxed, we're feeling anxious and worried and nostalgic and all these feelings come up. But when we come into the now, when we center our heart, mind and soul, and we know that we are safe, then we feel relaxed and peace is all around you. So use the affirmation this month, I am at peace, I am peace, I am peace, I am safe, I am safe, I am exactly where I am meant to be. So the more you calm your energy down, the more relaxed you feel and the more you'll allow yourself to take time to rest because it's something you have to allow yourself to do, especially if you're a busy person or you've got a busy life or a busy schedule or you're busy taking care of others' needs, It's you have to make that decision to allow yourself to be able to take rest for you. So the message coming through is, look at this, we've got, wow, the high priestess. So I love this because the angels are asking you to trust your intuition in January. And as you move into your life because you're leading the way, you're finding your true pathway. But this is about you really tapping in with the energy of who you are. You know, trusting yourself to move yourself forward, trusting your intuition. So if your body is tired, you have to listen to your body. If your mind needs a rest, you have to listen to your mind. Do what feels good and right for you. So trust your intuition. And this is a beautiful energy. You know, I'm feeling power in this card, floating, you know, flying high, raising your vibration, feeling stronger. And also putting time and energy into what you want. So Maybe you've been struggling with that. You've been doing too much. You know, that's the energy that's coming through. Maybe you've been working on a goal or a dream or something you're putting time and effort into. Or even, you know, your job or your career or your relationship. You know, you've been putting energy into everything. And the angel's saying, Whew, take a minute for you. Time to breathe. This is your time. This is your time, time for you, time to rest, time to replenish because you're still getting the work done. You know, the results are still coming in. You're still having what you want. So you've been working hard and the results are beginning to show. So you can take more time, especially on the things you're creative about and the things you're creating because you're coming up there as the Queen of Wands and she is a creator. The Queen of Wands works really powerfully with the law of attraction in the universe to create her needs to bring in what she desires and I feel this is the energy of you so you've been working hard to make something happen to get that fire burning you know maybe you're the one that's constantly reaching out to your twin and you need a rest from that 
Or maybe you've been trying to get things done and you need a rest from that. Because the angel's saying, take your foot off the gas. You don't need to rush. What's meant for you will be for you. There's no need to rush anything in your life. It's all in divine timing. We've also got, wow, the five of swords. So victory. You know, the angel's saying to you, victory will be yours. It's okay. It's okay to slow down. It's okay. Maybe you feel selfish if you slow down. Or you, you don't want to hurt anyone's feelings if you slow down. You have to put yourself first, your needs first. The angels are saying to you, victory will come when you slow down. And again, look at this, the Eight of Pentacles. So you've got the Eight of Pentacles twice in two separate decks. So it's really important that you slow down. And the angels are showing you there significantly with the number eight, eight, 88, 888, eight, that your dreams are manifesting. 888 means your dreams are manifesting. So the angels are showing this to you. You know, just take a bit of a rest. It's okay. And I understand that, you know, this is a daily channel and I'm constantly creating videos. And sometimes the angels say, let's just slow down. You know, it'll be okay. Everything will be okay. So the message for you is slow down because everything will be okay. So in your work, in your career, in the things you're creating, you're right on track. You're on track for success, money, rewards, riches, everything you want is flowing in. So trust your journey. And for your relationships, if you're single, I feel you've been working very heavily on yourself, you know, working on you. So the angels say now's the time to rest, to reflect, to relax, because you've put the intention out there and love will come. You know, trust your intuition. For twin flames, remember your power that you are loved, powerful and strong. And the angels are saying to you, find peace in this journey. You know, you're both doing the work. So for you, the twin flames, I feel this is a big sign that you're both doing the work, you know, mirrored energy. So you're doing the work and your masculine is doing the work. So in other words, slow down. You don't need to force or rush anything. Just be you. You know, when you're you, when you're your true authentic self, Things just shine and thrive and move where they're meant to be. So don't worry. And don't worry about the time it's taking. The angels are really saying, don't you worry about a thing. They're giving me that song, don't you worry about a thing. Okay, I can't sing. But, you know, don't worry about a thing. Everything is going to be okay. They're giving me Bob Marley there. Every little thing is going to be okay. So everything is going to be okay. So let's do a message from your masculine. So whatever sign they are, they're saying to you, I need space right now to heal. So this is what they're showing you with this card because they're doing the work. So your masculine is doing the work in this space, saying to you, I love you and I am healing. How beautiful is that? So the angels are showing this to you. So feel relaxed in the knowingness that you're doing the work because, you know, your masculine is healing. Healing, saying to you, I love you. I love you. This is what your masculine is doing. So feel relaxed on this journey because your divine masculine loves you and you love them, divine feminine. So what do you want to say to your masculine? I've got I love you coming back there. I just want you to know that I will never care. You know, I will always care, but I will never stop caring. Thank you. I feel that that's just channeled through there. So if you think that your masculine will never care, Okay, maybe you're watching this video that's just come into your mind. My masculine will never care. Then your masculine is saying to you, I love you. Okay, you may think they never care, but they do. Maybe you're wanting your masculine to know that you care because you may think that they think you never care either, but you'll never hurt them. I will never hurt you. I will always love you, even if you think that I don't, even if you think I'll never care. And that's the message coming through. So if you're watching this thinking, my masculine will never care about me, will never make the changes. They're already doing the work. Taurus, they're already doing the work. So the angels are clearly saying this to you. Okay, I love you and I am doing the work. I am healing, transforming and finding my way. And that's why I need space to heal because I am doing the work. And to get those mirrored cards and that mirrored energy, it's really clear. So if you're the one that thinks your masculine will never care, your masculine never stopped caring. And that's the difference. They never stopped caring. They'll always care for you, just like you care for them. 
And you're saying, I just want you to know that I care. I just want you to know and I will never hurt you. So a big message of this journey moving forward for you, that things will be okay, but you have to trust and just take your foot off the gas. Let go of fear and replace it with faith. Let go of doubt and replace it with faith and trust the journey because you're exactly where you're meant to be. Have a great day, sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.